Hi, Magdalena here, Wolf of Coins. Nice to see you all again. Um, this video will be something like a double VR video re response because it was inspired by two different videos but they seem to play really well together in my life at this moment. So first up, this is um, a VR... Well, I got inspired by Lisa from Tarot Alchemist, who got inspired by Dead Cheeky. She made a video with a spread by Emerald Lotus Divination, <laughs> and it's called Improve the Way You Accept Love. And secondly... Um, it's this video is a part of me embracing my inner queen of cups um, in the, my previous video i shared a spread from from this book queen up by angela kaufman and it was yeah it was um supposed to show you what energy what which queen is the strongest in your life which is in the shadow which is somewhere far away in your life so i got the feeling that my shadow queen queen of cups should be the one i should be working with right now and um i got inspired for that by uh winter night hair and you can check out her. I will, of course, post links to those videos. Um, she started a series uh, where she will be sharing her path uh, with the four tarot queens. Uh, for example, she had this amazing idea to make um, Queen of Cups music playlist, like with songs that you think represent the essence of the Queen of Cups to you. And I did that as well. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. I did not expect it to be uh, so much fun. And there will be a lot of more exciting things going on, I suppose. So check that out. And now I wanted to, to share my spread with you. So this is the Stretch Tarot. Stretch Tarot. For each position, I picked a tarot card and an oracle card. And the second one is Botanical Inspiration. It's Inspirations. It's a really uh, great deck. And this one is new in my life. It's my second reading with it. And so far I'm really liking it. So the first possession is um, How I Currently Accept Love. And I got Eight of Pentacles. And whoa, morning glory. So I thought <laughs> for a moment about it. And I think that at the moment I find love precious. And I think it has an important place in my life. Like you see this woman here is really focused on her work and arranging those flowers. Like she's tending to them into this composition um, and yeah I'm con kind of convinced I need to take careful care of love or it might be lost which is reinforced by this card Mor Morning Glory um, which uh, this flower you know it really grasps tight of the support it has or like on the wall or something and I got the feeling that there is this this image in my head that if I don't cling uh, enough it might something might be lost so this is the first position then uh, secondly uh, how I can improve the way I accept love and I got this gorgeous moon card and pansy. <clears throat> so what I see here is that the advice is um, that I should be more relaxed. You know, the moon is this world of feelings that are not tangible as opposed to this where you're physically tending to stuff. Mm. And I should trust others more. 
um, trust their feelings and try to look more optimistically. Like, realize that people have phases, like the moon has, and um, and try not to be scared um, when things get more difficult, because the like the phase will be gone and it will be better again. So, sweet thoughts with the pansy. And, um, and yeah, and the moon, not not trying to um, organize everything and and grasp everything, like more like go with the flow kind of thing. And then um, the kind of love that I attract. I got Queen of Swords and. Violet. So, I think um, it's this kind of love that is based on admiration, that it's quiet, <laughs> um, because because I might be keeping people at a distance, you know, with with the sword drawn here. Um, I'm, um, yeah, keeping people at a distance sometimes. And because of that, they are like here. It's modesty. This love might be a bit dimmed, not being shown to me too strongly. Next, um, how can I change my vibration surrounding love to attract more positive relationships? <laughs> and I got that. And sweet William. So the way I see it is I shouldn't be afraid to let my like facade or this persona I've created die and let it be consumed <laughs> by nature, you know, like those flower here flowers here. And here you see grant me a single smile. So allow people to come closer to me and let them see my hidden heart and try not to be afraid to let go. Then baggage I carry surrounding love. I got six of cups. And people, this is... This is the strongest uh, impression I got from the whole reading, even even with the death card, you know. <laughs> uh, but this looks exactly like me and my sister. It's just, oh my God, oh my God. And it's this smaller, a little bit smaller girl is trying to, it looks like she's trying to give this cup to this one. And the other one is Coropsis, Tick Seed, and it's connected to, uh, in Greek mythology, it's connected to uh, Kore and uh, Persephone, Be I mean her cycles as Kore and Persephone. So, I uh, I think it, it does relate to my um, relationship with my sister. Because for some reasons, um, when we were children, uh, she was very jealous of me. And I did not understand why. Uh, so I felt, often I felt rejected until I think I was around 12 years old. It was always, I would never be sure whether she will uh, smile at me or, or yell at me, you know. Um, so, so I guess it's still there somewhere right now. We are, we became really close, but some things just stay with you. And with this, I think I'm going back and back in circles, always to that one moment in my life, not one moment, one era in my life. So lastly, the last position is... 
uh, how I can release the baggage and move on. And I got five of pentacles and snapdragon. And I had to think for a while about it, what it really meant. And in the end, what I thought was I should try and embrace my inner child here, you see, and be kind. I realize that sometimes people reject us because of their own like wounds, isolation, fears, and um, yeah, that's the way to go. And finally, I I often uh, read the bottom card after I've cut the deck. You know, the the card at the bottom is for me like a summing up for the reading or additional advice, something like that. So I got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the glare is horrible. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, oops, Crocus, cheerfulness. So I think it tells me to uh, go out, go out to the world. Like this is, um, yeah. Um, even I checked the the keywords in this little booklet. And it says, 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 worldliness, manifestation support. So go out to the world more <laughs> and expect good things uh, to happen to me. So, so have more faith and not be afraid. I think it was a very, very interesting uh, reading. A great spread and I thank all the ladies that inspired me to do that and yeah um, oh the last thing I wanted to add is that in the book this book um, when you read about the Queen of Cups in balance or dethroned as it's uh, said um, there is one of the points is mistrust of others so I think it shows pretty well and, and yeah I'm happy I did this it's a Friday and on Fridays I try to uh, reserve some time for some uh, self-love activities and exploring um, exploring this queen I think it's one of one of those activities so thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed if you if you did enjoy please let me know in the comments or give me thumbs up I always appreciate that and yeah see you next time bye